Hi everybody, I'm back to show you how to make a, a hot pad, personalized, not personalized, but for Valentine's, um, for a friend, neighbor, someone you care about, maybe just for your own house. Uh, you can find many designs out on Etsy, out on the internet, free designs, paid designs. I've already chosen my design um, and cut it out on a 5x5. Five five. I got my hot pad for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Scissors to be able to cut off the tag. Done. I need to take off the back part. My handy dandy little weeding tools. And I'm just going to use my iron to put it on. So first off, I'm going to, um, as I said, I already did, did this in design space of five by five, approximately five by five um, section for this. There's a pocket here to be able to put cookbooks, um, cookie, brownie mixes, spatulas, whisk, whatever you want in here, a special little card. Uh, so I'm going to put that to the side for a little bit. I'm going to show you why I'm waiting to get um, this design. Everybody has their own favorite little tools to use for their projects. Remember when you print your image on heat transfer vinyl, okay, um, you need to have it in mirror, reverse mirror, so that uh, when you iron it onto your project, it will be the right direction or readable if you have words. I probably make lots of faces while I do this. Um, I'm a very, very facial person. Uh, can't ever get away with lying because you can tell on my face if I'm lying or not. So might as well just not lie. So I got my Cricut for Christmas. And I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. Post daily about my new project that I do for the day. So this is my new project that I'm doing for the day. And I'm sharing it with you um, as I'm doing it. So some things might be a fail and I'll have to try it again. And other things might be a success. Just like with anybody who, um, it's a new machine or a new craft project. Not everything's 100% the first time. But I am truly showing you how simple this is. Again, I told you that I bought the image off of Etsy. And I'll link it down below. I, I have no affiliation with the person that um, I bought it off of. I just thought it was cute. And so I'm going to use it. Um, this is garbage. Lots of fun. It'll go in the garbage. Here's the start of the project. Now I have to go in and do all the little tiny details 
of weeding it out. Um, my letter H kind of looks funny for the the, but it's okay. People always ask, is the Cricut worth it, um, money-wise, to buy? I am finding a million reasons to use it. So I think that it is worth it. Um, if you like to craft. I think I watched on a video that somebody uses a lint roller for all these little things. After they pluck them off, they put them on a lint roller. Might be one of my to-do projects to try in a future video. And then a light box, somebody says, so that you can see your design better. satisfaction when you peel something off and it comes off perfectly. Cute. You can save these for stencils too if they come out the way you want them and if by chance you ever wanted three little hearts for a stencil it would work out perfectly. How long have you guys had your Cricut or Silhouette? Um, and how many different projects have you made with it so far? I would love to know. We're in the second week of January right now. So I, I've been crafting a project a day, so I have a few projects now. Um, I'm kind of at a point where it's really, really hard to tell what I'm supposed to be weeding out and what I'm not supposed to be weeding out. Um, so this here might be where I run into problems of I have to redo my design if I don't weed out the right or if I read out, read out the wrong little areas. My project is stuck on something here. It's not coming off nicely. But I don't want to wreck it. So there it goes. Yay! Looks like I have some smaller pieces I have to. Again, I just enjoy it when they come out and they look like that. So I tried to take the middle out of the R and my whole R just came up as you can See, so I'm going to put it back down and see if I can't get the, the middle piece of the R to just come out without having the whole R come off. Yay! Tiny little pieces. So 
So I think I have another little section here that I gotta try to get out. And because I don't actually have the image in front of me, which would probably help to see what items I need to delete out. So when you're looking for images, I would encourage you to start with some simple images before going to complex images with lots of intricate little cuts and weeding. Um, this one came out perfectly. I have a couple little spots that I need to get out. The top of the A's. Switch tools, switch tools. Um, I did buy the Cricut tools for weeding. Um, before I bought the Cricut tools, I was using um, toothpicks and anything sharp to be able to get out my little things. So. I'm really excited about them. I think they work perfectly. Um, so here's my design. I still, it looks like I need to cut, take out a couple more things in, um, in the jar. Just in. Super excited to be sharing this with everybody. I typically just craft alone in my house. So I'm excited to show the world my little crafting projects. So here's my design. I think I have all the little areas weeded out. And it says the secret ingredient is always love, which I think is true. So I get my little black little um, mat, hot pad. I'm going to try to center my project in my five by five. So I think the area is like five and a half by five and a half. I just chose a, an item that was like five by five. Gives me a little room to work with. Take your iron and press it hard. I do do the iron right on top of the um, the plastic. I don't put any sheets or anything in between. I've read that you should put Teflon between or towel. Never done it, so and I do this for a minute or so, maybe a couple minutes. I want to make sure that it's really on there. I don't want it going anywhere. I want it to last a while. Pink for 
for Valentine's. Even though Valentine's is a little bit of okay. It's still fun to think about it and make stuff for it. It's starting to come out in the stores, so it's fun to, to check out. Okay, so I need to let it cool down before I attempt to take it off. Um, some people take them off right away. I don't know if it's because I live in cooler climates that or cooler weather that um, it wrinkles really quick when I try to take it off. So I just wait for it to cool down a little bit before I try to remove it. I think it's so, so cute. Um, I just can't wait. I can put some candy in there with a couple of flowers, pretend ones, and give it as a gift. Okay. So I find a few Peel it straight back and roll it off. That it rolls off pretty easy. Well, this is just turning out fantastic. I love it, love it, love it. So it all came off. My little seat is empty. And Here's the final project. It is absolutely adorable. So I will do written directions of where I got everything. And you can check it out. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Have a good day.